Well, sadly, I've never been able to whistle, but the hen in the foreground, Chocolatine, certainly can crow. This is just to share some ideas about how the dynamics of a group can change when something happens. You can see there's already a little bit of sparring amongst the other hens. This is not a normal hen fight, which is quite vicious. It's actually ritualistic and it's used for when two males are trying to gain dominance over each other in the flock. A dominant cockerel or rooster would normally stop hens from fighting. But it's interesting to see here that it's Chocolatine who goes over to observe what's going on. I think it's quite funny that Stanislas carries on with his breakfast. He just gives a warning sound. And I think it's because he knows that this is all about power games. You can see that Chocolatine takes things a lot further. She's actually doing what is usually a male dance, lowering the wing and encircling the hen. This again is to show dominance. In fact, she's a lot better at it than most of my other cockerels. The sad thing about Chocolatine's bid to take over the hen house was that we lost Stanislas when she was actually in a very heavy moult. Her sister was broody and very much out of the running. And crowing is a supreme sign of dominance and you can't really look your best when you're losing all your feathers. So what she did was that she started to go into the undergrowth and crow. She wanted to assert her dominance, but she didn't want the others to see her when she was doing it. Chocolatine is now putting on new feathers, so maybe she'll make another bid to be the supreme ruler of this hen house. Hope you enjoyed this little look at my flock and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's subscribed, watched my films, made some great comments as well. It's really appreciated. All the very best for a happy and peaceful Christmas, holidays and a happy new year.